been called the most intimidating man in baseball. Arnsworth delivers, swing and a miss. Armed with a 100 mile an hour fastball, Kyle Farnsworth always had the tools to be a top reliever. Strike three call. Now with the Rays, he's putting together arguably the best season of his career. It's unreal. He's out there breathing fire, and it's it's fun to watch. Plus, how Kyle's experience is making him the Rays' go-to guy in the ninth inning. And Kyle slotted into that role nicely, and he did some really nice work. Um, and you know, if it's not broke, don't fix it. Batters may fear him on the mound. But off the field, there's another side to the Rays' flamethrower. He's really a gentle giant. He's learned in his older age to be able to leave that competitiveness at the field and switch it off and come home. And how does one of the game's most intense competitors blow off some steam away from the trap? We'll follow Kyle as he takes on his newest hobby, paintball. It's all coming up on Inside the Rays, Kyle Farnsworth. Welcome to Inside the Rays. I'm Todd Callis. The Rays' bullpen was thought to be a question mark, but they're a big reason why the Rays are in the thick of the American League East race. Veteran Kyle Farnsworth just might be the most pleasant surprise in that group. Farnsworth has locked down the ninth inning for the Rays, already besting his career mark in saves. The 13-year veteran didn't have to look far from his Metro Orlando home to revitalize his career with Tampa Bay. And a swing and a miss, he got him. You know, the older I got, you know, I wanted to be somewhere closer to home and spend time closer to the family. And, you know, for spring training and during season in Tampa was, you know, tops all three of, those, of, of, of my list. So I know can ask for anything better. With a six foot four inch frame, an intimidating demeanor on the mound, and a 100 mile an hour fastball, Farnsworth seemed to have all the tools to be a top line closer. But he has had to wait for the chance to close out games, spending over a dozen years primarily as a setup man for the likes of Mariano Rivera and Joaquin Soria. Well, the reason he hasn't had chances to close out ball games is basically just opportunity. You know, on some of the other clubs that he was on, there were closers, quote unquote closers. I know he's set up a lot of great guys, and he should have been in there a long time ago. If, if you ask me, he's got the mentality for it. He's never scared of the ninth. He's never scared of the eighth or a, a, a dirty situation. He can go in there and clean it right up. Farnsworth entered this season having endured some struggles as a setup man on previous teams. But the Rays saw something different and gave him a chance to earn the job of closer. Well, a couple years ago, our whole family got a bunch of paintball guns for Christmas, so, and uh, now some land up in Georgia, and we played up there one time and really got into it. You know, it was a you know, fun sport to uh, take the kids out with, you know, do something with them too as a family. Working as a team, just to go out there and just having fun. Good way to blow off steam. A good way to keep in shape. He's out here running around. Uh, yeah, and it's a good, it's a good way to have fun with your friends. You know, you get a group of guys together and come out here and play all day. It's a lot of fun. Uh, the fields that we're using, they're constructed of uh, inflatable props, and basically they're set up as. Uh, being mirrored to each other one side to next to the other field is the exact same mirror to each other So instead of it being more about a war game, it's more about uh, a chess game Predators is the team name we actually came up with the team me stone hunter and Kyle So went online just ordered some shirts and all matched and that's how we came up with it Kyle's team face seasoned paintball pros lining up on the other side of the course. Go! Uh, Tampa Bay Damage is a professional paintball team that travels uh, throughout the United States uh, playing national tournaments. Uh, we play in the professional level. You know, I, you know, I figured it'd be pretty good. You know, they are. You know, there's a reason why they're professionals. So he plays pretty good, actually, for being. Uh, you know, he's played what six months now, and he has good style. Obviously, you know, athletic. Kyle always plays with intensity. He ne he never turns off, even when he's you know here and trying to relax. He's 
always pretty intense. He's very intense, he takes it pretty serious, pretty good though. And he he's pretty much runs up and just kind of unloads on people. Kyle has evolved to be a, a, a great player. He's fast, um, he's agile, and he handles the gun very well. Aggressive at times, you know what I mean? He, he, he held his own, he did a good job today. Well, I guess that's good coming from some of the other guys, but you know, pretty much anything I try to do, I try to do it to the fullest, go out there and, you know, I like to compete and have, you know, have fun also, but, you know, I try to do everything the best I can. And then it's good to see him have, uh, you know, that family atmosphere here too with, all his, with his kids. Yeah, definitely, you know, they have a good time. You know, my little guy, Stone, you know, he's more worried about getting hit, so when, when he gets over that little fear, you know, he's pre pretty good. You know, Hunter goes out there and has a good time, so, you know, they got all the gear, all the pads and the guns and everything, so, you know, just try to make it, you know, the most enjoyable experience for him. It's pretty fun, I like it. Whenever we get mad, I just get to shoot him. Gummit. Never saw him move over there. I don't think I shot him once. He shot me as much as possible. He plays professional at everything. Even though he just started doing this, he, he's really into it, so he's competitive. Hit! Yeah, it's not like uh, just because we're professional paintball player doesn't mean we ever get hit. I would say every day that we go out there, we get hit mul multiple times. In, in the heat of the moment, you have anywhere up to five people shooting at you, and you know you really can't pay attention what's coming from where, so you really don't know who shoots what, but <laughs> you know when you're hit. Neck, I got one neck in the forehead last round. Uh, I got a good one on my neck, a couple on my back. All part of the game. Even on a day off, Kyle still shows that same competitiveness that fans see on the mound for the Rays. And he's impressed everyone with his paintballing skills. It's not every day you can say, I got bunkered by Kyle Farnsworth. And I brag about it to my friends, I think it's pretty cool. Yeah.